Welcome to Basic Cooking with Chef Agnel. So today, as you can see, I got a giant, this is a real huge butternut squash. I was lucky to get another one at the giant store. So it was the only one they have, I picked it up. So I, I want to do something different. I want to cook couscous today, but instead of serving in a traditional way, traditional style, I want to do something unusual. So I'm going to actually stuff this butternut squash with couscous, half of it, and use the other half, cook it in the grill, and um, with some other vegetables, and do like a nice display, something unusual. So first you got to start with is, of course, you got to cut the uh, squash in half. And uh, this is not an easy, folks. You really gotta have a good grip to do this. And a uh, nice sharp knife. There we go. Now we got it in half. Now you got all that meat, you gotta get it out. I mean, the seeds especially. The meats you can uh, save because we're gonna cook this whole tank on the grill. And we're gonna serve the couscous inside as well as some vegetable. So right now I'm doing, I'm just taking off some of the um, seeds and cleaning up nice so I can have deep, so it's deep enough to place all kind of stuff. There we go. Now this takes a little bit of time. You can do it ahead, the day before. Uh, you don't have to do this at all. You can just do your couscous the way you like it. I just want to do something different and, um, you know, exciting. So this is very exciting. It gets me going. It's a beautiful day. It's sunny. Uh, getting outside. Uh, this is actually unusual for the month of uh, December. Anyway, so you can see I got some meat from the other half. I reserved them. Now I got a, a pot, I'm gonna make a stew. Because when you do couscous, you need to make a, some kind of stew because you need the juice to add to the couscous. Usually you add the couscous here on top, you make your stew and the steam cooks the couscous. But this is an unusual stuff. It's outside, it's different. So you gotta come up with a different way to do different things you know, when you are outside and things like that. So I'm making here the lamb stew. I basically bought some lamb with bones. It's called uh, lamb for stew. You can get it at a giant store. Um, I get some red onions. Uh, I throw them in there to caramelize a little bit. Uh, then I'm, I'm slicing some tomatoes. I'm gonna save half for the uh, grill and half for the stew as well as the squash, half of it for the stew and half for the grill. And I'm gonna need some seasoning. I'm not using too much seasoning here. I, I just want uh, turmeric mostly, uh, and then uh, salt and pepper, a little bit of chili powder. So I gotta mix my stuff. And then I'm using stock. So you definitely need some beautiful, nice uh, stock. I'm using chicken stock here. Uh, again, you can buy it at your favorite store. You don't have to make it unless you have time. Or you can freeze it if you have, if it's in the freezer. So mix in my stew, put the seasonings in there. And I'm going to add the carrots as well. I bought some baby carrots. Colorful, a lot of flavor in there. So I want those color carrots to kind of melt a little bit and create like a, some kind of sauce with the... That will flavor the um, couscous. So again, the idea is to make this stew, and the stew is going to be watery, means a lot of liquid. I'm going to take those liquid, that liquid, add it to the couscous, and the couscous here is an instant couscous, something that cooks very easy. But I have a way, a trick. I'm going to show you how to make it very good and fluffy. So I added my chicken stock. Cover it up, let it cook. And here, I moved it to the other way. I added the cabbage. Well, I, I took the cabbage and I sliced it like that. 
and I just put it on top. It's steaming, kind of, it's cooking in, on top, and I'm gonna turn it around. The cabbage is really important to have when you make this couscous. Also got chickpeas. So a lot of vegetables you use when you do couscous gotta be soft, easy to, um, uh, to eat. You don't want anything that's hard. It's gotta be a little mushy. Now, my half of the uh, butternut squash that I kind of seasoned the oil a little bit, salt and pepper, I put on the grill, hot grill. I turn the grill down. I'm just going to let it cook for a little bit so it gets soft. At the same time, while my stew is going on, I uh, slice some vegetables. I got some peppers here. I got the butternut squash. I find some uh, cheap portobellos. I may as well use them. And I'm going to grill all that stuff and put a beautiful, nice display. Uh, in a few minutes, you're going to see how I'm going to make the couscous. So traditionally, the couscous is used using the couscous here, again, with the holes in the bottom. And the steam of the stew goes through it and steams it out. And you got to take it out and add some cold water and mix it up and put it back again in the couscous here. You gotta do that three times and season it with salt. But here I'm gonna do it different way because um, technically having a couscous here, having a lot of stuff, it's not really practical because I'm using the grill. So, you always gotta come up with different ways to do different things. So the, basically the most important thing is my stew. It's going on beautifully, it's cooking. It's flavorful, and the lamb is getting tender, and the carrots are kind of melting a little bit with the tomatoes, and so creating a nice sauce with the uh, the chicken stock. So here I'm grinding my vegetables. Uh, this is going to play a big role into the garnishing of the uh, the platter. So instead of having the vegetable into the stew, I only put some vegetable into the stew and the other ones I'm gonna put them around it. When you grill the zucchini, just be careful, it gets quickly um, uh, dark in one side. So you just wanna cook one side a little longer and the other side light. So you can cut it, julienne it, so you get the charred color and the light color. So here my mushrooms are on top, they're gonna to cook easily. Basically, all these vegetables, salt and pepper, and that's, that's all you need, a little seasoning if you have it. I usually have my own little mixed seasoning I add, but not too much. When you do couscous, you don't want a seasoning to be overpowering. You don't want too much garlic, you don't want anything. You really want a little light, because uh, on its own, the stew will create the flavor. So here, I got a pan hot. I throw my couscous in there. Now I'm just gonna mix it, mix it, and mix it until it caramelizes a little bit. I didn't add anything, it's dry couscous. Now, I wanna measure the same amount of couscous equal the same amount of liquid. And when the couscous is toasted enough, I'm gonna turn it off, just light, very light golden color, and then, I added some olive oil to the liquid. So it's gonna incorporate into the couscous so it doesn't stick. So now my couscous is almost ready. I'm gonna add my liquid, mix it up and cover it up. So it steams up and, and it's gonna sit. It's gonna be nice and fluffy when we come back to it. So very easy. Technique again, the technique is uh, almost like saute the couscous dry, give it a little caramelization, uh, just kind of a little aroma so it doesn't stick. It's like when you make the risotto, kind of you kind of caramelize a little bit the grains. So we added the salt because you want it to be seasoned salt and pepper. It's easy to mix it like this before you add the liquid. Here we go, we added liquid. One, two, three, cover up, then it's set.
come back to it. And then close the grill. Now here is our um, display. We have our half butternut squash. As you can see, it's been caramelized a little bit on the grill. It's actually cooked. We're gonna stuff it up with the couscous. This is a lot of fun. This is actually fabulous. <laughs> I've never seen this before. I love coming up with the new stuff. This is the um, the juice left over from uh, the um, the stew. I took the meat out. Here is the meat I'm putting the lamb. So I, I don't want to put the lamb on top because if somebody just want to eat vegetables and couscous, it's fine. Now I'm adding all the other vegetables around, decorating my tableau, if you want to call it like that. This is the fun part. Now the cabbage is very, very important to have with the couscous. I mean, the flavor is unbelievable. Uh, it's kind of soak, soak into the liquid and it absorbs a lot of flavor. And uh, I just put the grilled butternut squash over there. Now the grilled zucchini. I took the zucchini, grilled it, and then sliced it into julienne. Now I get the peppers. Now I also added here some figs. It's an unusual thing to do, but I just found some fresh figs and they're beautiful. And in Morocco, there's figs everywhere. And this is Moroccan traditional dish so little figs will do no harm so it's looking really nice beautiful couscous is full of a lot of stuff a lot of vegetable a lot of flavors so that's why you know here i'm putting actually we also use sweet potatoes i just grilled them until they soft and display them on top. Now some chickpeas. The chickpeas are just cooked inside the oven, kind of, in the liquid of the uh, stew. This is like a, you put this in front of anybody, especially Moroccan people, they're gonna be like, wow. It's like a deconstructed the couscous royal. And you get the figs over there, you get a little herbs, rosemary. I just went to my backyard and picked up whatever I have. I get some cilantro and parsley. And just garnish it. It's like a nice um, display. And uh, voila. Really simple. Thank you.